Governor and Ms. McMaster, Major General McCarty, Gold Star families, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jody Spivey, Survivor Outreach Services Coordinator. It is my honor to welcome you to the Heroes Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony. Today we light the Heroes Christmas Tree. The Gold Star ornaments represent the heroes who sacrificed their lives while serving in the military. Today we honor those who paid the ultimate price to keep our nation safe and remember the families who will always feel their absence. As a nation, it's our duty to always remember them and honor their selfless sacrifice. I will now introduce the Adjutant General of South Carolina, Major General McCarty. Uh, good afternoon on behalf of all the soldiers, airmen of the South Carolina National Guard, but to all of our men and women who serve in our armed forces throughout this country and throughout the world, it is an honor to have the opportunity to be here today for the lighting of our heroes tree. We're certainly thankful for Governor McMaster and Mrs. McMaster for allowing us to have this here at the State House, to have the opportunity to remember the service and sacrifice of our servicemen and women who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in service to this great nation. Certainly our special guest here today, our Gold Star mothers and their families, and to have the opportunity to be with them here today is quite an honor, but really uh, a privilege to be in the company of these ladies and their families. Our Gold Star mothers represent a very special group of individuals. They are the mothers of our sons and daughters who have paid the ultimate sacrifice to this great nation. They were Blue Star mothers prior to that. That meant that their loved ones served this great nation. Never would any of them have chosen to be a part of the Gold Star Mothers, but now that they are and that their families are, it's a responsibility that we all share in remembering the service and the sacrifice of their fallen. So as we go through this process today, where well, we will light the tree with 575 stars that represent the lives of each of their, their loved ones and the sacrifice that they've made, we as South Carolinians can take pride that we have young men and young women who are willing to raise their right hand to take an oath to support and defend this great nation and to do so with the willingness to make the ultimate sacrifice so that we as citizens can benefit from the freedoms and the opportunities that we have to enjoy what will be the festive holiday season that is before us. But to know that their loved ones are not with them, there is a void, not just on Christmas Day, not just on Thanksgiving Day, and not just on Memorial Day, but each and every day. So we have a responsibility to remember their service and to remember their sacrifice each and every day. So to have the opportunity today to share a few minutes with you, with them, is an honor and one that uh, I believe all of us have a great deal of debt of gratitude that we should say. And the words are not all that complicated, but the words thank you have a significant impact. So to our Gold Star mothers, our Gold Star families, thank you for allowing us to share this day with you. Thank you for the, the, your loved one's service and their sacrifice. It means a lot to all of us. Thank you. May God bless you. Jerry. Thank you, General McCarty. At this time, we will hear from Dr. Tia Jones, Gold Star Mother of Justice Stewart, First Lieutenant USMC. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, honored families, and friends. Um, it's an honor for me to stand here today representing the American Gold Star Mothers of South Carolina as we gather to light the hero's tree. Um, it's a reflection of gratitude, love, and remembrance. This ceremony is more than just a glow of lights. It's a living tribute to the men and women who have laid down their lives for freedom that we cherish so much. Each ornament on the tree represents a hero, a life lived with purpose, 
courage, and selflessness. And for some of us here, these ornaments hold a deeply personal connection. They remind us of voices that we no longer hear, hands that we only wish to hold, and moments we treasure in our hearts forever. For Gold Star families, every day is an exercise of resilience. We carry the weight of our loss, but also the honor of our loved one's legacy. Today, as we gather in the shadow of this beautiful tree, we are reminded that we do not walk this journey alone. South Carolina Survivor Outreach Services and events like this bring us together as a community, a family united in remembrance and support. As Gold Star Mothers, we turn our grief into service. We find strength in uplifting others, whether by supporting fellow families, at, um, you know, advocating for veterans, and ensuring that our children's sacrifices are never forgotten. It's the mission that sustains us and keeps us and keeps their light shining brightly. To the state of South Carolina and the governor's office, thank you for hosting this meaningful ceremony. Your commitment to honoring our fallen heroes and supporting their families is deeply felt. This tree stands as a symbol of unwavering bond between the people of South Carolina and those who serve in our military. Today, as the lights illuminate the hero's tree, let us each take a moment to reflect on the lives and legacies of these brave men and women. Let us promise to remember not only their sacrifices, but also the enduring values they stood for, honor, duty, and love of country. To my fellow Gold Star mothers and fellow Gold Star families, know this, you are loved, you are not forgotten, and our loved ones are not forgotten. They live on in our hearts, in our stories, and in the unity of days like this. Together, we keep their memories alive. May this tree remind us of the strength found in the community, the power of remembrance, and the light that our heroes continue to shine upon us all. Thank you, and may God bless you, your families, and the great state of South Carolina. Thank you, Dr. Jones. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Governor of South Carolina, the Honorable Henry McMaster. Thank you. <clears throat> Don't know what I can add to that. <laughs> we call this a tree, a tree for the fallen ceremony. It's those who've passed away. And this is produced by the Survivor Outreach Services. I think we've all heard time and again about how South Carolina is the most military friendly state. <clears throat> we have uh, 400,000 military personnel, I think 64,000 retirees in the state right now and growing. But I wonder why, why is it that we are the most friendly to military state? Well, if you think about it, <clears throat> you might say, well, it's because we have eight major military bases. They're all over the place. It might be because a lot of military people retire here. It might be because they vacation here like everybody else, it seems. But if you go farther back, I think you will see that throughout our history, which in this state, as, as, a, as a state, as a colony, began in 1670, we've been fighting the whole time. There has not been a war that we have not been in, every single one of them that this country has been in. The Revolutionary War, there's blood all over the ground in this state. And the historians say, said before and are saying again that this is where the Revolutionary War was won, because this is where the people of South Carolina would not quit. And General Cornwall Lord Cornwallis said, we can't beat them. And he went back and they realized the Southern campaign was over, it was a failure. And so it was here, particularly in, after the largest loss of patriots in the Revolutionary War, which was in Camden in 1780, I believe, 
Then you had Kings Mountain and Cowpens, and that was the turning point there. In 1782, there were 130 British ships, 130 taking 12,000 British soldiers and some loyalists out of the state. So we understand war. We understand the cost of war because we've seen war. And every time a man or woman puts on that uniform today, they may see war. See war. Now, they may not be have a military occupational specialist that lends itself predominantly to the battlefield, but they always may be called. So when people are willing to do that, it is incumbent upon us to recognize them, and that's what we do for the, the living and the dead, those that have fallen on the battlefield or otherwise under circumstances related to this service. So that's why this is a significant event. In South Carolina, our greatest asset is our people, and they're none greater than those that have worn the uniform. So the First Lady and I are very proud to participate in this ceremony, and we will continue to do so for the great people of South Carolina. And now I think I'll light the tree. Peggy, will you help? This is very difficult. We're going to say three, two, one, light the tree. You already did it? Yes, sir. You already did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Governor McMaster and First Lady McMaster. On behalf of the Survivor Outreach Services coordinators, thank you for honoring our heroes today. Let us walk towards tomorrow, still honoring them by living in the freedom they protected. This concludes our ceremony. May each of you have a blessed holiday season, and we will have refreshments in the room behind me, my left, your right. Thank you. Oh, do y'all have any questions? Okay, thank you. Good. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Brandon.